Texas to Joe Tex. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Tex. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You tried to sneak past me, now, didn't you? Uh-huh. Now get it here. Get it here. Joe Tex, everybody. Hey. Let me tell y'all something about Joe Tex before we go on because many of y'all don't know who Joe Tex is. You don't know who Fats Domino is. You don't know who Joe Tex is. You don't know who Fats Domino is. Fats Domino created rock and roll. You don't believe me? Go back and do your history. Fats Domino, okay? Everybody bit from Fats Domino. Joe Tex, godfather of soul. Listen to him. Okay? You're going to hear James Brown. Okay? You're going to hear Joe Tex. You're going to hear Joe Gotcha. Doesn't he sound like I gotcha, James Brown? Well, it turns out that Joe Tech and James Brown were at the same studio. And there were several things that Joe Tex did that James Brown borrowed without asking for permission. Okay, such as the microphone thing that falls down and he's down there waiting for it to fall. And then he stands back up with the mic. That was Joe Tex. There was a whole lot of rivalry between those two. Okay? Joe Tex, Fats Domino, y'all do some research on the two. I promise you, you'll be amazed at how much they contributed to our music scene. All right. Hey, Joe. Thank you. That's Joe Tex, everybody. All right. I got something I need to show y'all for our Secure and One's Property people. Again, our secure in one's property people, the Fourth Amendment people. We have been working on something specifically for you. Now, again, literally, I need to say this so that you guys understand. It takes as long as it takes. Now, I got to show you something because I don't care about BARD. I care about perplexity right now. And I want to show you all what perplexity said because I'm going to tell you what the question is. In the United States, this is my question. Most dealerships, when you purchase a vehicle, must be licensed through the Department of Motor Vehicles. That's right. Most ve dealerships must be licensed through the Department of Motor Vehicles. They need to have a dealership license. Even if you have, in California, 10 cars on your property, 10 cars on your property. I wanted to get a dealership license uh, back in, what was it, 1989? And there were just too many hoops to jump through. I was going to the auctions and all of that, so... That's how I know about this. But anyway, my brother ended up getting his dealership license and so many other people I knew. I used to go to the auctions and purchase vehicles. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. As a result of that license, the dealership surrenders all manufacturer's certificate of origins to the Department of Motor Vehicles. Say so what? The dealership surrenders all certificate of origin to the Department of Motor Vehicles, the MCOs. They surrender to the DMV. Well, now, why is that? Why does the DMV require that is to be able to be licensed to be a motor vehicle seller, dealer? Why is that? Well, let's find out. I'm, I'm going to make this bigger so y'all can see. No, not that one. Get on out of here. See me talking? All right, we're going to go that big so y'all can see. In the United States, most dealerships must be licensed through the Department of Motor Vehicles or similar department. As a result of that license, the dealership surrenders all manufacturer certificate of origins to the Department of Motor Vehicles. In Louisiana, the Louisiana Used Motor Vehicle Commission, Louisiana Used Motor Vehicle Commission, there is no such thing as a new car, Shh, don't tell nobody, is the authority that licenses and regulates the used motor vehicle industry involving the sale of used motor vehicles the louisiana used motor vehicle commission governs over six thousand licenses throughout that state including the use of motor vehicle dealers see they don't just do used cars Shh, don't tell nobody automotive dismantlers and parts recyclers motor vehicle crushers and others the louisiana motor vehicle commission oversees the Insurance of auto dealer licenses in the state. To obtain a dealer's license in Louisiana, applicants must meet various requirements and pay 
necessary fees, which can start at four hundred dollars for the business itself, and also additional fees for salespersons. Special types of licenses in Louisiana, Louisiana, include the use of car dealer's license and new car dealer's license, each with its own requirements. Use car dealer's license, I said, anyway, and new car dealer licenses. In California, Department of Motor Vehicles regulates dealer's licenses, and the process includes completing a dealer's education program and providing proof of insurance. So, ladies and gentlemen, this would not have been added in there because I wasn't thinking along this line at the time, but I was thinking along this line tonight because I was going over the document, proofreading, adding other things, little nagging things that some of you are going to want to bring up. So I decided to put that in there, although it wasn't necessary. The document is 12 page long. You will get it. Um, my hope is to get this to you by Wednesday of this week, and then you guys can start going into small claims court because you have your title insurance, and now you can go and bring a claim and bond the case with the title insurance. Okay, we'll give you instructions on how to do that. You're going to be receiving something, and those of you who are part of the uh, AMCF program, student loan, home loan, car loan, as well as AmeriLegion's program, as well as the DAP program, the acceptance of the debt program, acknowledgement and acceptance of the debt program. You all will be receiving communication this week. Letters are going out this weekend and next week for each of you. Why? Because there are certain challenges that have to be made now that we have done all of the other mailings. The delays have been, we have to wait until certain time periods have elapsed after we send out letters. We can't just send out all the letters at one time. So, so far, we're at 30 letters for the majority of you going out. Now, if you think about it, that's quite a few of you, and that's 30 letters. So if you can imagine, depending on how thick the letter is and the fact that we have to pay staff to stuff those letters and send those letters out, yeah, it's been an expensive venture. We were averaging about $1,000 a month on mail. This is not a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have gone the cheap route, but we had to document sending out each particular envelope, which means that our people had to go and metered mail every single envelope, or we had to do priority mail on some of the envelopes. So that was the point. Metered mail doesn't cost anything extra, but it is proof of mailing because we are here to document the record for you. That's our job. And because we documented the record for you, now you get to stand on your square because they can't produce more than you can produce that you tried to communicate with them and they failed to communicate back. They had a duty and an obligation to respond. They did not. So, ladies and gentlemen, just so y'all know, uh, and, 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 and I don't want y'all, because we're about to exit on out of here, but I don't want nobody taking offense to this song right here. Okay? This song right here, y'all don't get to take offense to. Okay, this is Joe Tex again. He gonna take us on out of here. Three nights ago, I was at a disco show. He wanted to bump. He was ready to go. Big fat woman, got me on the floor. She was getting down. She was ready to go. She was a chick too. I almost broke my hip. She was getting down. That chick was getting down. You bump some more, but I told her no. You know, you know, knock me down. You know, knock me down once. If you want to dance, find you a big fat man. Y'all go on and get on down. Y'all go on and get on down. I don't want to bump no more with no big fat woman. Now, see, ladies and gentlemen, finally, if this song came out today. There'd be a ton of people out there protesting and be offended. Okay? And they didn't even get it. That Joe Tex was a clown. <laughs> he was a clown. Most of his songs, and if you watch him in the video, he's not big. Okay? The only problem is he's making sport of just words. He's not talking about any individual and see, the fact that somebody would have to explain that in this day and age, that is the problem with our society right now. We have gone from individuals 
literally having fun with a song like this. I mean, literally, ladies and gentlemen, there were people playing around with this song. We as kids played with this song. I mean, literally, this song, that's why this song went number one, because everybody knew it was a joke. It wasn't to be taken seriously. But you can't do that today. You can't joke today because the moment you start joking, somebody gets offended because somebody's feelings are so fragile that they're like porcelain sitting on top of the Empire State Building with 65 mile an hour winds and there's nothing holding the porcelain to the top of the building. And then there's a hundred people standing below looking up at the porcelain glass coming down at them and they're not moving and realizing that somebody's about to get hurt. That's what's going on right now. Okay? You, you can't joke anymore. You can't... It's not that you can't have an opinion because I don't think everybody has a right to an opinion. No, 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 no. Understand this. I mean this real seriously. I mean this. We're, we're not going to, we're not going to do this. Who's that lady? We, we're not going to, no, I said your text was, no, no, no. This is Isley Brothers, y'all. And y'all know they doing who's that lady. And I love me some who's that lady, but we're going to say who's that lady for another time. But again, we live in that society now where individuals say things to offend people on purpose. They don't do it because they're joking and they're trying to be funny or they're trying to be comedic. They're doing it because they're trying to get a rise out of people because the more controversial they are, the more popular they become. Sensationalism. That's where we are now. Ladies and gentlemen, there are no gimmicks like that here. I'm not trying to be more popular. You don't hear me saying, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit like, hit like, hit like. I don't care if you hit like. I don't care if you subscribe. That's, I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for my people. See, my people are the people out there who are lost. Like the young lady who I did a consult with today. She's been attached to my videos for years. Her name has been popping up all over the place and she decided to get a consult because she had a unique situation. And had she not contacted me, I don't think she would have been able to get any type of redress because nobody else would have known how to handle this situation. They would have told her just a basic junk. And I can't tell you what the situation is because it's her consult. You follow me? I can't even tell you what it's about because I did it today, so it's directly associated with her, so I can't do that. But let's just say the situation involves her loved one. And another person called me today about their loved one. Both two separate situations but by explaining to them, no, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do that, you can take care of this. And then I helped her with a couple other things. But she thanked me immensely about the amount of information she gave. Ladies and gentlemen, we weren't even talking about debt and mortgages or anything like that. The whole entire conversation had nothing to do with debts or mortgages. But it did have something to do with something I was familiar with. And then we ended up having a heart-to-heart -heart because it was personal. Not for me, but for her. Empathy, sympathy, I don't have, but I understand what she's going through. So, that being the case, those are the people I do this for. Those of you, I the last couple of weeks I've done consults, and at least three of the women who did the consult literally cried over the telephone during the consult because they were just so overwhelmed. I'm not saying that because I'm trying to pull on heartstrings. I'm telling you exactly what happened. Because they're being beat up. They're being hit. They're being abused. They're being knocked down. And there's nobody there helping them up. Now, mind you, the consult today went two hours and 17 minutes. The other consult earlier this week, uh, well, the other two, went over three hours. I'm literally exhausted. I've been up since today. Uh, I've been having some knee pain. I told you guys about this new chair I got. Well, because I've been sitting in this stupid chair for 15 hours a day, um, let's just say my knees are saying, uh, fool, you need to start moving us because if you don't start moving us, <laughs> we're going to kick set night. Okay? Because that's exactly what it's been doing the last couple of nights because it's very painful. I watched the YouTube video. And the YouTube video, let me show you the YouTube video. Hold on a second, y'all. I'll be right back, and then we're going to close this video. One second.
I literally thought my knee pain was because of something I ate because it hasn't been there. I, I got skeletal arthritis is what the doctors have diagnosed me with. So I figured, okay, it's probably arthritis, but these are the videos I watched. Um, this, and this is the same guy. So they're pretty much the same video. And guess what? He's 100% right. Oh, see, that's why it's the same title. Okay, same title. But he's 100% right. This guy's saying the same thing. They both explain it perfectly. And guess what? It worked. I'm not joking. This is not going to solve every knee pain. Pay attention. This solves the acute knee pain that comes from out of nowhere. Okay. And mine, after they explained exactly why it happens, then I realized, man, I did get this new chair. This is new. <laughs> and because it's a new chair, I'm not used to it. And I had it at its highest height. Okay. Well, I can't do it at its highest height because of my legs. That means that because even though my feet were touching the ground, they weren't completely touching the ground. So that means I was extending the muscles hours upon hours upon hours. So because I'm extending the muscles, but my knees are bent when I went to lay down and I straightened those legs out to lay down, and my leg was like, <laughs> and that's what I had to go through for the last couple of nights is my leg laughing at me and saying, wake up, seriously, uh-uh, you ain't sleep, uh-uh, ain't, no, wake your ass up right now, that's what my knee was saying to me, oh no, you, you trying to go back to, <laughs> oh, you, you get your back up here, okay, that was my knee, that's why I went to YouTube, because I knew there had to be a remedy, now, I, 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 I am not saying that YouTube is where you can go for medical advice. I don't give up about YouTube and their stupid censors. I'm saying this honestly. I am not saying that you can go to YouTube for medical advice because many of the idiots giving advice on YouTube don't even know what they're talking about. So don't y'all dare do that. Lord have mercy. Some people, one guy sat up there and heard people was taking baking soda. He took a whole carton of baking soda. Kidney failure, people. A whole carton of baking soda. No, just the regular Arm & Hammer baking soda. A whole carton of that. He drank that stuff. Kidney failure, people. Damaged his kidneys completely. Why? Because he was self-medicating. Self-treating himself. Watching YouTube videos. Lord have mercy. So don't y'all dare. I'm pointing these out to you because... Simple technique. I was trying to, because, you know, he does this on purpose. He shows the nice end, the, the, the rigid end pointing towards the knee, making you think you're going to be scratching yourself up. And this one shows that part of the spoon as if you're going to be using that scratching yourself. No, you're using the handle. You're using that part of the spoon. You're not using that part of the spoon that he's using there. And that, that they did that just because they want y'all to be shock therapy. <gasps> no, he's not going to really do it that way, is he? Okay. So. Those work, okay? That's all I can tell you, okay? Those worked. All right, I got to let y'all go because there's nothing else to talk about here. There's there's no other videos that I watched that actually gave. They talked about some stretching and all of that type of stuff. It's, uh, we have dirt roads, so it's very muddy right now. So I can't go out and walk like I would normally be walking around the house and all of that stuff. So I'm going to wait because I don't feel like bagging my shoes, yeah, little small trash bags on your feet keeps the mud from being tracked back into the house. Just that simple, literally. Just take the little small trash bags. Walmart has them, like 40 to a roll, and they cost like $2. And you just put them on your feet, tie it around your leg, and use that to walk. Don't get your feet wet, including in when it's raining outside. Okay, don't do that in the snow, because that little plastic bag will slide you right up into breaking your hip. And you'll be talking about, oh, I broke my hip. You done knocked me down. Done broke my hip. You done knocked me down. Uh, I'm sorry. Joe Tex, everybody. All right. Got to go. Y'all take care. Hope that you gained something from this. But if you hadn't, at least you learned about Joe Tex and Fats Domino. Got to go.